Roman Aqueducts, the Empire's Hidden Lifeline Imagine a city of over a million people, thriving in a sun-scorched climate, with fresh water flowing endlessly. But here's the mystery. How did the ancient Romans pull off the impossible, without pumps, electricity, or modern machines? Today, we uncover the astonishing engineering marvel that secretly powered an empire, the Roman aqueduct. Across mountains, valleys, and barren plains, Roman engineers built channels of stone stretching hundreds of kilometers. But what seems like simple architecture hides a scientific riddle. How did water travel so far, without a single push? The answer lies in gravity, precision, and a level of mathematical mastery centuries ahead of its time. Roman surveyors used a device called the corobates, a long wooden beam and water level, to detect even the tiniest slope. A drop as small as a few centimeters per kilometer kept water flowing smoothly. Any mistake, even by a fraction, could flood the channel or stop the water entirely. Fountains spraying. Homes, farms, workshops, all demanding water. To fuel this mighty machine, aqueducts delivered over 1 million cubic meters of water every day. That's enough to fill 400 Olympic pools. But here's the twist. The aqueducts didn't just bring water. They brought power. A city with endless water is a city that grows, thrives, and dominates. Without aqueducts, Rome might never have become the center of the ancient world. Most people imagine towering arches. But the true genius of aqueducts lies where no one could see. Over 80% of their length ran underground, protected from any... At last, the water arrived in Rome, flowing into massive reservoirs called Castellar, then branching out to barts, fountains, and homes like veins in a living organism. The aqueduct wasn't just a structure. It was a system, a network, a masterpiece of engineering brilliance. And here is the real wonder. Many aqueducts still stand today, defying earthquakes, erosion, and time itself. 2,000 years ago, the Romans built a lifeline for millions. And in doing so, they engineered immortality.